Clearwater Industries is proud to present our new containerized clarifier system. In this project, we're using our water treatment system to manage the slurry generated from a 1,300-foot bridge deck restoration project. This application requires continuous operation with up to 60 gallons per minute of slurry to be clarified for reuse or discharge. They use a 20,000 PSI hydro demolition robot to scour the bridge deck, which creates a slurry that is very high in solids and in pH. Each step of the process requires water. The slurry from the site is captured into tanks so it can be treated continuously. We treat the slurry in a clarification process using our polymer flocculants, water clarifier, and filtration system. After the solids have been removed from the water and it has been corrected for pH, it is ready for reuse or environmental discharge. The solids are collected in a cone bottom clarifier and pumped to a roll off box for disposal. So a walkthrough video of the Clearwater Industries portable water clarification and filtration system. We're at a bridge cutting project. We're just finishing up. The customer has captured all their wastewater in these storage tanks. We've got a container outfitted on a trailer and a generator. This is the service door here. Come on out, Matt. Excuse me. Just doing a little clean up here, wrapping up this project. This is our container here. We've got two tanks and a filtering system. Flow comes in the first tank. And we're dropping all the solids with a flocculant in this process. The solids will separate and get pulled out with this mud pump here. The clean water will go to this clean water storage tank. So we've got some floaters in there. They haven't heard anything. A couple of June bugs, some styrofoam, feathers you might expect. At this stage, we're adding an acid, and that's doing a pH correction for this water. From there, we've got a filter pump and two cartridge filters. We were able to do this whole job with just these filters, which represents one of these cylinders, so we always got one ready and standby. You can see that one's valved out right now. It's 480 volt controls. Here's the panel. We've got power distribution, heating AC, LED lights, and spray foam insulated. In the back, we've got some room for storage, toolboxes, parts, currently some garbage, spare filters. This is our acid and our polymer dilution. This is our acid pump here. It's all automated off the sensors. And this is our polymer dilution for the flocculant. So with that, we're able to get some pretty clean water. This is a zero discharge site, so we're pumping into this tanker truck here. This is our clean water storage tank. So as you can see, we're making nice clean water for these guys. With the washing portion of the project complete, the team moves on to inspection and repair. With the repairs complete, the team is ready for the big pour. The reduced traffic and cooler night temperatures create optimal working conditions. Once the bridge deck has been poured, the equipment leaves site, the concrete cures, and the bridge is ready to be reopened to the public. The treatment methods used in this project can be scaled up to treat a wide array of flow rates in a vast range of applications. Contact us today to discuss your project and how we can create a custom tailored solution for your needs.